channel i'm going to show you how to set up client server how do you set up client server okay i'm going to show you how to set up client server uh, using cisco packet tracer so for example uh, we're having uh, our clients these are client clients these are pieces here and then we're having a switch and then this, this is our server now for example here the client is going to send the resource or a message to the server so this is our source for example come and put here then also put here right and then you can come to the assimilation okay then the source is our pc0 is sending to the server the destination is here so this one also should come back it should reply the, the server replies back to the pc0 and then here you can see it's in progress zero if now you can see it's successful and it's going to tick you see it is ticking correct you can check whether this pc you can check whether this computer is connected to the server for example uh, we can get uh, we add, can add can add image here then when you so you click here so when i click here you must see here down here they tell us maybe it's connected this pc is connected to this pc one so this pc zero is connected to, to pc one so for example when i click you can come and see uh, below here uh, it's successfully connected the source so you need to have the source and a uh, destination so this is our source and then this is our destination okay so it's successful let us try to see uh maybe for example this pc2 is connected over let's try to check to see if pc2 is connected to the server so do the same come and click here make sure that you observe here they'll tell us that pc2 is connected to the server so this is our source and then maybe the destination uh-huh click let us give this message then also here you can see below here it has said successful pc2 is connected to to uh, to the server right so i'm going to show you how to make something this is how to configure about that so for you to do that you must have source and destination so where a client sends a request and then and then the, the server responds back with a response so for you to create that come to file new then we need to get some device here pc you can put here a pc put also here a pc put here also a pc and then also we need a switch you can put a switch here in the middle then also we need to get a server you can search below here server is in here then put on top here a server now come to cables connection then we are, we are going to use straight through click then accept to connect connect do the same use the same cable to connect okay connect okay do the same also connect this pc to the switch okay then also lastly connect the server to the switch so come to the straight through cable then uh, connect this server connect, connect, connect the server to, to the switch now you can see they are connected to the switch now we're going to do configuration okay so for you to do configuration come and and tap on the server when you tap on the server click on it come to config then you can come to check this, check this first connect then you can see where there is ip4 you say you can put it is static say one nine two point one six eight point one point one all right then subnet mask it is generated automatic okay then also come to to service service uh -huh, dh C P okay then a uh, fast Ethernet zero then turn the service to on then uh, default gateway say one 
192.168.1.1.1 right then after that come to state start ip yes it should be 192.168.1.1 then here uh, 101 then subnet mask 255.255.255.0 then maximum number of users you can say 24 okay depending on the users you want okay and then uh, don't forget to to save save right after that after that after that now remember I told you here you put 192 point uh, 192.168.1.1 okay you can now you can now close close this go to the pc to check you can now go to the pc to check whether uh, you can go to the pc to check whether the the connection is done easy connected you okay you, you are you the next step is to go to your pc each pc to connect the ip address okay you're going to get get the ip address to be connected to get the ip address for this you say come here click then after clicking come to desktop okay then come come to ip config then we are going to check if it's connected so if the message should come here i see here so if i uh, you check this dhcp click check now they are requesting ip address so they say that dhcp request successful so do to the rest of the uh, pieces close this come to the next pc you come to the next pc you say come to the next pc go desktop ip config so we are getting the ip address for each uh, machine this pc below so then then come to uh, dhcp check this the message should come here they say the first of all say i requesting ip address now they say again a uh, dhcp request successful right go to the next pc this one desktop ip config then dhcp we are, we are trying to request the ip address for each machine now get the ip address for pcs by simply clicking each pc and come to desktop you you and you, you check this okay dhcp so they said that dhcp request successful close now we are going going also to see if the pieces are being connected to the server for you to do that come here to this message can want to check to see if they can uh, try to request and then okay they can request the resources and then the, the server replies we can put this one here then so we put here this message can see that below here they say successful the pc this pc called zero is connected at the server successful okay then also you can try to see uh because of course you have the source and then we must have also the destination you can say let's also use this as a source then destination so the message should come below here when i put here then i also when i put here you can see it has come successful pc1 is connected to the server which is zero here server is the name then successful i tell you dynamic that dh dhcp uh, stands for dynamic host configuration protocol dynamic host configuration protocol so is a network is a network uh, management protocol used to dynamically assist an IP address to any device or node on a network. So it can communicate using IP 
all right so that's all i can tell you about the dhcp yes so we meet, meet in the next coming tutorial